Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. Welcome back to another $2 meal. Today, I'm making a recipe that was requested by Besides a Raptor on Twitter, who brought this to my attention. I had no idea that Meghan Markle has a fabulous recipe for pasta, but it's an everyday recipe made by Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, and she calls it her filthy, sexy mush. Sold. Sold, sold, sold. I am also sold because it only contains three ingredients besides the pasta, and it sounds a lot like my brother and I's favorite childhood dish, Mushy Mimi, which uses zucchini that's been cooked down to create a lovely mush. So the Duchess recounted this recipe in a delish interview. I'll put a link down below to that if you're interested, and listed three ingredients. Zucchini, the lovely squash of summer, bouillon, which is an instant concentrated soup base, and water. And we're also going to use a little bit of olive oil to saute things. So other people have tried this recipe, they've included other ingredients, but I'm going to do it the three ingredient way because I think let's keep it simple, right? Let's keep it simple. This is a super budget friendly meal. It's healthy, it's vegetarian. So if you have a vegetable garden and you've ever grown summer squash, you know you only need one because man, these plants know how to reproduce. Okay, on that note, let's get this started. I almost forgot to tell you why this recipe is so intriguing, besides the fact that the Duchess of Sussex makes this for herself, is the fact that you cooked the zucchini for four hours, four to five hours actually, and it's supposed to just mush down and make this beautiful sauce that tastes super rich, and it feels like it's creamy and got tons of butter in it, but it doesn't. It's just mushy, mushy, sexy, filthy zucchini. Sounds fabulous, right? All right, let's go ahead and make it. So I've got five zucchini that I've chopped up here. It's better, in my opinion, to get the smaller to medium-sized ones. The seeds tend to be a lot smaller and they're not as woody. Okay, so I've got my pot heating up here. I'm gonna add a couple glugs of olive oil. Dun, 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 dun. And get this ant off my, why is there an ant in my bowl of zucchini? Oh well, added protein, here we go. Oh, there it is. Get out of my, ugh. Thank you. Zucchini sautés really nicely, actually, but the trick to sautéing or to getting a nice little caramelization is not to touch it. Just let whatever you're browning sit in the oil, nice hot heat, Resist the urge to nudge it around too much because then you don't get a nice crust. So we're gonna let that sit there for a little while. So if you've missed the previous episode of this series where I make a Cameroonian egg omelet spaghetti sandwich, I will put the link down below. All right, let's give our zucchini a toss. Yes. Rogue. We're starting to get some caramelization here. We like that. Mm -hmm. So the zucchini is starting to sweat down a little bit, highly technical term. And now I'm going to add in half a cube of bouillon. I'm going to taste it as it's cooking and if it needs more, I will add more. But it's better, in my opinion, to err on the side of less than more. Now I'm going to add some water. This is probably about a cup. but. Add about a half cup of water, quiet things down a bit, and give this a stir and dessert, dissolve. Dissolve is the word I'm looking for, yes. Dissolve the bouillon. And then we're just going to cook this down four hours. Four hours. So we've got ourselves a rolling boil. I'm going to turn this down to low, cover this up, and let it go. All right, I'll see you back in four hours. <laughs> All right, my beautiful lovelies, I'm back. It's four hours later and my zucchini bolognese sauce is complete. And I have to agree, that is some filthy, sexy mush. I am a huge fan of overcooked zucchini. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And it feels really good because it feels like confirmation that it's not just a childhood nostalgia thing, it's the fact that it's delicious. Because I'm like, oh, I love mushy mimi because it's what we and I ate when we were kids. No, I love it because it's delicious. Well, and also that we and I ate it when we were kids. 
Okay, back to this dish. I've cooked up some linguine here. I'm gonna quickly toss it with our sauce and then let's give it a taste. It has gotten really warm and my glasses are sliding off my very sweaty nose. <laughs> I've got some fresh parsley while my pan is heating up. I'm gonna chop a little bit of that over here because it's growing in my garden. It's beautiful, it makes all dishes prettier. Okay, my pan is warming up. I'm gonna add a little bit of butter. I'm just gonna add a little bit of butter to that. Now I'm gonna add some pasta. Oopsie, oopsie, my pasta's sticking together. Oops, that's okay. We're gonna loosen it up with some sauce. It's all good. Okay, I'm gonna to toss my pasta around in that butter a little bit. I'm gonna add a splash of water. Kind of loosen things up a little. There we go. So I am a big fan of adding a little bit of sauce to my pasta and then putting extra sauce on top. I just feel like it makes it extra tasty. I'm gonna season my sauce with some pepper. I'm also gonna add a pinch of salt. So I tasted this while it was cooking and it was delicious and half a bouillon cube worked really well for me. All right, so now let's add our sauce. Alrighty, two scoops of our beautiful zucchini sauce. Just enough to kind of moisten things up a bit. Reduce the heat. I'm gonna add some freshly grated Parmesan because cheese and pasta are best, best friends. Toss this up. Oh yes, little splash of water. Oh yeah. So let's go ahead and plate this. I'm gonna grab some of my beautiful pasta. And when I'm dealing with like a noodley pasta, I like to do this. Ooh, not that, this. I like to give it a little spin. I think I learned that from Lydia Bostinich. I think it makes it look pretty. It gives it a little kind of a nest look. Doo -doo. And add a little extra sauce on top. Oh yes, this is the perfect recipe for summer. Let's add some freshly grated Parmesan Reggiano. And then a little bit of parsley. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, let's eat this while it's hot. Now, I've got myself a fork. Do you use a spoon when you eat spaghetti? I generally don't. Had I not added cheese and butter, this would have been vegan because my bouillon was vegetable based. Alrighty, here we go. Eat the dakimas. Mm hmm. That's pretty stinking delicious. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. I'm gonna have some more. I'm gonna add a little more cheese. Yep, let's, I'm just gonna have another bite. Get the Mm-hmm. Pretty stinking delicious. The zucchini cooks down and gets really sweet and mushy, but it makes a glorious sauce You've got the grated Parmesan cheese that adds a little bit of richness and nice little cheesy funkiness. And the butter kind of ties everything together. The bouillon gives it a little extra flavor, a little bit of salt. The pepper and the cheese go beautifully together. And you've got very nicely cooked linguine. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay, so final verdict. I absolutely love this. Super simple, easy inexpensive and perfect recipe for summer, particularly if you've got a zucchini plant in your garden. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So basically this is a more sophisticated grown up version of Mushy Mimi. Instead of using ramen noodles, we're using pasta, but we're still using bouillon and we're still using zucchini that's been cooked for a very long time. Granted, the noodles are cooked properly and the noodles are not completely mushy and Mimi-like, but 
still you've got the kind of essence of mushy me. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Let me know down in the comments if there's a recipe that you like me to test out or try or if there's something that you like me to taste. Be sure to grab yourself and eat the Ducky Mosh shirt. It's only for a limited time only, so I'll put the link down below. And yeah, please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye! My nose is so sweaty. Turned off the air conditioner because I wanted you guys to hear me, but it's officially time to turn it on because, you know, my glasses are not staying on my nose. I haven't got much of a bridge, you see, so these glasses go and then I can't see.